Good day class. Welcome to the third session. In this session, we will briefly look at how to evaluate the effects of content, language, and style on readers' or viewers' response in specific texts. The content outline of a text is the framework of a text and a brief summary of what is the text. When outlining the content of a text, you need to look at a number of things such as the content of the text, the type of the text, the date the text was written, the author of the text, the title of the text, the headings in the text, and a number of other things. The content of a text has different effect on different readers. We will briefly look at three text types and the possible effects it may have on different readers. The first text type is a fairy tale. Little children might be enchanted by the story and possibly believe in the magic. Adults may find the story to be an escaping tool from the realities of life. Creative people might be inspired to paint, draw, or make movies of the story. And business people may see the content as an opportunity to market children's products. The second text type we will look at is a marketing plan for a company that sells breakfast cereals. People in the marketing department will have to familiarize themselves with the content in detail to carry out the marketing. The accountants in the company will focus on the numbers. The senior executives will look at it in a form of a strategic point of view. And the secretary will not understand the content and will just see it as more filing. The third text type we will look at is a psychology textbook. Psychology students will see the content as knowledge that they need to study and write exams on. Lecturers will see the content as knowledge that they are familiar with that needs to be taught and qualified specialists will evaluate the content in terms of their own knowledge and experience. Language structures and features will influence readers' response to a text. There are a number of language structures which include bias, humor, irony, sarcasm, omission, silence, figurative expression, repetition, hyperbole generalization, stereotyping, a picture, caption, typography, and grammar. The effect of a production technique will vary depending on the visual. The production technique has a number of contributing factors, which include the composition, layout, light, foregrounding, backgrounding, perspective, camera angle, frame, sequence, and a number of other factors. In order to critically analyze a text, it is important to know how to skim, scan, and predict the text. Knowing the form of the text type and its features will also assist with the analysis. Know that the genre of the text you are writing with. Look at how the text has been organized. Text can be organized using headings, chapters, paragraphing, indexes, appendices, etc. Make conclusions about the purpose, audience, and context of the text by synthesizing the information from the text and looking at the patterns and the trends. Explaining values, attitudes, and assumptions in text requires the analyzer to cite evidence in defense of their position or in defense of the author's position. Look out for surface or embedded meaning when presenting a viewpoint. Focus on the impact on the target audience. The effects of content, language, and style can be evaluated. Outline the content and explore its effects. Identify the impact of different writing techniques and the influence of language structures and features. When analyzing a visual, look at the effects of the production techniques. We have come to an end of our unit standard. Please go over your learner guide to see the different examples.